it's Rachel from L4G News. I'm here at John Westway and Wellington, one of the busiest uh, intersections in Aurora. As you can see here, I am sitting at the Tim Hortons Plaza and there is a lot of activity from motorists coming in and out of this intersection. However, I have heard from residents that they find it quite challenging to exit this area in a safe manner for a couple of reasons. One, it's the speed in which drivers drive, but the second one is the sight line issues up across the way. As you can see, it's really tough to see who's coming around the corner at those high speeds. So what can we do here in Aurora to help make these roads safer? So the one thing I did do is I did bring a motion to council on June 11th to not only reduce the speed from 50 to 40 kilometers an hour, but I've asked staff to come back with a report to help mitigate these sight line issues. So what can they do? Well, I'm really hoping that they come back and they suggest that we have a stop sign put in at Amber Hill Way or perhaps some speed bumps along this section. Not only does the people at the Tim Hortons Plaza have issues, but also people who are driving to school, to the secondary school, the senior centre and the residents at Amber Hill Way. Do you mind telling me what that's like trying to trot across the road in the morning? Well, it's usually hard because there's tons of cars passing by and I have to wait until most of them pass. So there's a big gap without any cars coming or it's clear no cars. Look. Would you feel that if there was a stop sign at Amber Hill Way that that would make it a lot safer for you to cross the street? Yeah. I think it would be safer if it's a stop sign. I'm happy to say that motion, motion passed and it will be reduced to 40 kilometers an hour and I can't wait to hear what staff has to say about the sight line issues. I'm really hoping they come back with a stop sign at Amber Hill Way, perhaps they'll put some speed humps, but I'm really hoping this does make it safer for Aurora. This is Rachel at L4G News.